Can you believe Christmas is just a few weeks away and many of us who celebrate are getting ready to take part in traditions that we hold dear that often includes a trip to see Santa. And you might not be aware of the commitments that these Santas make to bring a sparkle to your child's eye. And now more than ever, efforts are underway to bring diversity to jolly old St. Nick. There's a new HBO Max documentary. It's called Santa Camp, and it features the New England Santa Society as they attempt to remedy a complicated and historic problem with diversity. They train a black Santa named Chris alongside a Santa with a disability and a transgender Santa. Let's take a look. The New England Santa Society created a school called Santa Camp. The issue we run into is that people just have a very specific idea of what Santa should look like. So, we have a lot of new Santas. I want to be able to be Black Santa for other families. I'm going to be going up to New Hampshire to learn all the ins and outs of being Santa. Oh, it's definitely going to be strange experience. Well, you just saw Chris there, and he went to Santa camp, and he's joining us right now. Chris, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, listen, before we talk about Santa camp, we do have to go back to 2020. This is the year that you put up a large black Santa right on your front lawn. And yes. you got an angry letter from a neighbor, which you shared on Facebook. It went viral. After experiencing all that, did it make you want to be a Santa even more? It absolutely did. Um, yeah. Just because I wanted other kids to be able to see themselves represented. Mm -hmm. um, it, my daughter, most notably, um, I did it all for her and I do this for her. So yes. give us some examples of the things that you learned at Santa camp. And then are there some things that you bring to the role that other Santas don't? Uh, absolutely. So some, I learned uh, a bit of character development, how to truly uh, become Santa for myself. Uh, things that I bring to the character, you know, I get to interject my culture into the character of Santa. Mm -hmm. Now, the camp's founder seemed to genuinely want to make the industry more inclusive, but you have sort of described some awkwardness along the way. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, you know, there's uh, there's always going to be a little bit of pushback, um, I, and I say always. Uh, when you start interjecting race or sex or anything, um, if it's not what the norm is in someone's head, there's always going to be pushback. And Santa can look like just about anybody if, if they want to. And, and it looks like that's what they're trying to prove there, clearly. Also, you know, security has become a bit of an issue. You actually have gone so far as to ask us not to use your last name in this interview. So yeah. we want to play a short clip also and show people what happened to Santa Levi. Santa Levi is trans, and he returned home from Santa camp and appeared at a church event for LGBTQ youth. So take a look. We are protesting uh, the indoctrination of children. We're elves. We're elves. Yeah, yeah. We're frog boy elves. This church is, is infected with evil. They're destroying Santa Claus. And really, the Bible that I read says that this is a sin. Santa's well, not in the Bible. No. Chris, I mean, you talk about your fears for your safety as well. Is it things like this that make you perhaps consider not being a Santa, not doing it? I take my safety serious enough that, you know, we protect ourselves at home. Um, we have some extremism that's very, very close to home, and it's depicted in the movie. Uh, so, you know, it, it's there for people to see. But, um, yeah, I, the fact that they, they call themselves Proud Boy Elves and then talk about the Bible that they read, so hilarious because Santa Claus isn't in the Bible. Really positive things, though, that we see in the film as well. Uh, at the end of the film, we watch you as Black Santa at a festival near your home. It's very heartwarming. What is it like for you to watch that playback? It, it's great because it is 100% full circle. Um, that is our uh, Northern Lights Festival in North Little Rock. It's literally me, me becoming Santa for our entire uh, city. Um, and the joy that you see on these kids' faces, the joy that you see on their parents' faces is absolutely amazing. Um, clearly there's a need and a want out there and 
I'm, I'm fulfilling it for people and making folks happy. And can you share with us one special Christmas tradition that you have? Um, our special Christmas, uh, Christmas tradition as a family is our uh, pajamas. We all get matching pajamas and um, it's been great uh, with, uh, with the push for diversity. Um, different companies are starting to actually carry Black Santa uh, as an option mm -hmm. for Christmas pajamas. Oh, that's so fun. Chris, I'm so glad to have had the time to talk with you tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. And Santa Camp is streaming exclusively on HBO Max on November 17th. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.